Hi, thanks for tuning in. This is a quick tutorial on how to set up the magic mirror. The first thing you want to do is double click this icon. And you'll see there's a lot of stuff going on here. So we're going to explain each of these one at a time. Let's st start over on the left. The first one is the registration code. If you purchase one of the kits, you'll get the reg code and email. Just type it in when you get it. These next few you can skip. This one is to put the magic mirror in what we call stealth mode. So normally when the mirror is running, it'll look like this. You'll see this face floating when nothing is going on. But if you have this selected on, it will actually turn it off. So the mirror will only pop up when someone comes close. So it's kind of a surprise setting. This is uh, for the weather forecast. So just simply put in your zip code. This means if the weather is over 70 degrees, in this case it's set to Fahrenheit, the magic mirror will say it's a good day. If it's less than 70, it'll say it's an okay day, and then if it's going to rain, it'll tell you that it's going to rain. This is the orientation, so depending on how you have your monitor set up. So if you just have it the normal way, it would be like this. If you have it set up uh, at 90 degrees rotated, then you'd want to pick this one. This one you'd only want to worry about if you've got a really old computer. Um, and it'll play some lower res videos. It will. Uh, the benefit is it will play them, albeit they'll be a little bit more pixelated. This is for the stock, um, stock portfolio feature. So what you do is just enter your stocks. Let's just enter one more here. And this means that if the sum gain of all these stocks is over three, it'll say your stocks had a good day. If your sum loss was over minus one, it'll tell you your stocks had a bad day. And then in between, it'll say your stocks had an okay day. This is a new Twitter feature we just added. So if you want to use this, make sure this is set to on. And uh, using the default settings here, if you send a tweet um, from your mobile or computer that says speak mirror and uh, whatever tweet you want it to say, it'll actually speak that. If on the other hand, you want it to speak tweets from your own personal Twitter account, enter your username and password. It will check Twitter by default every 10 seconds. And uncheck that if you want to hear all the tweets or only tweets entered by yourself. This is for the Picasa web slideshow feature. So just give it your Picasa or Google ID. Pick which album you want it to stream. You'll see it come up here in a second, right there. And then once you go here, you can you can adjust the uh, the picture, so you can make it a little smaller, you can move it up and down. This you'll want to adjust depending on what what pictures you actually have. So that's Picasso. So over here is where you tell the magic mirror which sensors you have hooked up. This first set is a bunch of switches. So if you don't have one wired up, you want to make sure you set that to off. If it is wired up, select it to on. This is the mode for the LEDs. So one option is a flickering fire effect. So if you're using that one, I'd recommend you use red LEDs. The other one is an indicators. This will just uh, show a visual LED indicator that's proportional to the alcohol intake that comes from the breathalyzer input. Over here is the text-to-speech. So a lot of customers wanted a way to set the magic mirror to speak responses that they defined. So this is the easiest way to do that. Turn on text-to-speech and for each sensor event over here, just type in exactly what you want the magic mirror to say. And um, you'll get the kind of computer sounding voice, so it's not quite as good, but text-to-speech is actually not, uh, not as bad as it used to be. So it's, it actually doesn't sound too bad. Okay, this one you'll probably never need to use, but this is if you needed to calibrate the alcohol sensor. This is just the different levels of alcohol that it senses and corresponds to which video it plays. This is the proximity sensor. Set this to on if you have it wired up. Um, the manual goes into a little more detail on exactly what these numbers mean, but basically this is a range, a distance range. So if you're standing within this range, then the proximity one video will play. If you're standing within this range, the proximity two video will play. And these are the touch sensors. So weather stock, X10 on off, Again, just like these switches above, if you don't have them wired up, make sure you put those two off. If you do, set them to on. 
And uh, you'll notice this one is for X10 on off control. So if you're using the X10 feature, make sure that you set this to on. And then these are the X10 codes. So there's one for lighting control. So let's say my lighting control device was on A4 and let my X10 appliance control was on A6. And you would just change that address right here. This one is very important. This is the basically the COM port of the sensor hub. So go into control panel, fire up device manager. See if you're on Windows, see what COM port the uh, sensor hub is on. In this case, it's on COM6, so I'll just pick this one. Um, this one you want to set to on when you're initially setting it up. Verbose mode will show you visually the sensor values on the screen. So it's a good way to troubleshoot and make sure, make sure you've done your wiring correctly. This, this here is to adjust the character and the, the various text. So for example, when the weather video plays, it's also going to display these, uh, these icons here as well as a weather forecast, which let me move this out of the way right there. If for reasons with your installation you don't want to show the text, then just unclick these guys and it'll just speak. Likewise with these other texts as well for the breathalyzer and the stock performance. If you also want to adjust the character, you can move it around. This depends on how you have your monitor installed and you can make it bigger and smaller as well. So there's some options on how to position the character as well as the text. And then lastly, this is a door cam feature. So this one actually goes with the door switch. If you have a webcam, let me just type one in that I'm aware of. And this is um, actually not a webcam, it's an IP, IP camera. So you're getting a, a video stream feed from an IP camera. Um, unfortunately, the IP camera manufacturers don't all use the same format, so you also need to pick which manufacturer you have and let's just take a look at it. Okay, so the doorbell video will play and it will stream this video. Um, envision this being someone at your door, for example. That's how that is intended to work. So that is the IP camera feature and that is everything you need to know about setting up the Magic Mirror program. Thanks for listening.